After four years of trapping mule deer in the KC Buffalo region of Wyoming, wildlife managers with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department are now analyzing the data these GPS collars have provided from the 119 mule deer does that wore them during the course of the study. The Upper Powder River Mule Deer Study began in December of 2018 with the capture and collaring of 70 mule deer does. The collars recorded a GPS location point of each animal every two hours. Each year since then, the collared mule deer were recaptured by Game and Fish. With the collars removed, the data downloaded, and the collar put back on the animal to continue collecting data. If a mortality occurred in the interim, the collar was located, removed, and redeployed on a new animal. In addition to data from the collars, wildlife managers took body measurements from the animals, collected blood and fecal samples, and used an ultrasound to assess body condition. This herd has been under the management objective of 18,000 for several years, and the massive amount of data will allow biologists to evaluate the condition of the herd, identify factors influencing animal survival, and learn about seasonal movements of the deer, as well as the animal's habitat preferences and what effect chronic wasting disease is having on the herd. The study has given researchers a fascinating look into the daily life and happenings of mule deer in this region, 67 deer died during the study. The causes ranging from chronic wasting disease and predation to hunter harvest and vehicle collision. Of the 70 does captured in 2018, 27 survived the duration of the study. Some deer were non-migratory, others traveled over 30 miles between winter and summer ranges. Biologists are now working with researchers analyzing the entire data set to answer management questions about this deer herd. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.